I used to cry every day. Na yeah. post kitu napata comments inafika di 500. Mm. Yoni comment na sija reply hata moja. Sasa people abusing me. Ukipata okay, ukipata positivity, it's either 5 out of 9, nine 100, you know. Yeah, yeah. So 95 yote ni people abusing me according to my face, my body. Mm. Any influencer ama social media ama a public figure ki asai kwambia that I'm used to it. You can never be used to it. Ni kama mgonjwa kwambie I'm used to the sickness. They are never used to it. Cuz mm. you know person next never never akwa ni appreciate. He never saw my hard work. People, what you telling you? They never saw my my hard my hard work. Mimi nilikuwa natotoka shule nenda. Oi. Person next aki anateswa na management. Aki hata kwa sababu juzi ni poor punishment as is just if I I can say DM me, you know. Mm. Through me speaking out. People wanted wanted him to get out of that management, but mm. no one was bold enough to go and face the camera and tell people that he needs help. Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Galarin, the show for the youth by the youth. My name is Galangeri and today I have a guest who's not a strange face to the Kenyan entertainment scene. She rose to fame about one year ago and it's how she took that fame and created a brand for herself. But today we are going to get to know her story, her life journey, what she's been through. She's also going to tell us the ups and downs of fame. So hi Purity. Hi. Oh, what we do now? Kujia pretty fish. We are not talking about Kuchomia Kidogo. It's okay. Ah, so kindly introduce yourself to our audience. We'll be on it today. Okay, so my name is uh, Pretty Vishi, but my real name is Purity Vishenwa. Pretty little car. You know, like Vile Ume in any hadi ika ika rhyme, like Ulichka Purity Ukakata. Yeah, and Ulichka full name ni Purity. Mm -hmm. So when you remove the U, it's yeah. pretty. Yeah. And then Vishenwa. Mm -hmm. Nikayaka shot one, Nikakwa Vishi. Vishi. And it looks so amazing. The Thank nails, you. the eyelashes, Nakapua Sana. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. So, Nataka Utueleze, a little bit about your journey, how you were born, Ulitha Liwawapi, life Iliguaje. Yeah. Uh, so, I was born in Kibera. Uh, my mom at that time was, uh, my mom was 14 years. So, obviously, I was 15. Uh, nilizaliwa by the Kibera place in itwa Lindi. I've grown up Lindi, then nikafika five years. My mom and my dad parted, parted ways. Tuka ama, tukaenda silanga to my grandma's house. Yeah. So okay. after that, um, so at that time, my mom was around 19. Because sasa tunilikuwa na brother angu, me and my brother. Me and mm -hmm. So after some time again, nikahama, nikahamishwa, nikapelekwa kuishi na my, my grandma's sister. So I guess, but do she yangu mungine? Because mm. her life was not easy because she was so violent. Because to an extent, I look like I'm mimi na bwana ke. Mm. Yeah, because I look like I'm a bwana ke. So like, she had the she 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 used to rule. The manly figure, so so. Yeah, house, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she was like the man and the woman at the same mm. time. Because mm. woman no me kwa na kazi, he didn't have power and all. So yeah. Uh, after some time again, I can pick up uh, at a point any. That woman used to, alikuwa na nitesa sana. So she shangu akapata some news that I'm not okay. So ikafika to a point this, this time, nilienda lu. Mm. Then ika jisaidia juu, haiku lenga shimo. Remember yeah. that time I was around seven. So the woman akambua na neighbors, mtuto wako, ame, ame, ame chafua cho. Yeah. So instead of her, obviously, akuja flash, because nile cho ya inje, but you can flash it. Mm. Bala kujua hiyo, hiyo nini akufanyi hizi likuwa, Nimali na mini mfupi, then like na mi poti yangu cause I used to use poti cause sifiki yo nini. Mm -hmm. Na yo siku kunyumbe liku mefungwa sate malirudia kambiwa, mtoto hameyaribu ame choho, wakanza kuteta. So instead of her telling me, uh, doing the necessary, akanembea aishika the, the shit the poop. Yeah, uh -huh. with my hand mm. ni. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, God. so to an extent, the neighbors they were not impressed with it because they didn't see that coming, you know. Yeah, so yeah, after some time, my grandma came for me, Nikarudi mm. home, Kurudi home. So that is the time that my dad, Akaniba, Akanipeleka, Ushago Kwao. So my mom was stranded, Nini, 
but akaka manage tena kuniendea huko kwa babangu nikarudi at that time remember niko shule yeah. so like the moment nafanywa hivi kurupelekwa kurudi mm. narudi nyuma you get it yeah. educationally narudi nyuma so nikien nikirudi shule narudi nyuma bala niende mbele mm. so mamangu kunirudisha Nairobi aka akaamua i go to my great grandma's house mm. so shosho mama shosho ya mamangu nikaenda huko vihiga mm. i went to vihiga nikakoko for almost two years nikarudi when i was i think i was 10 or something nikarudi nairobi 2010 mm. kurudi i found my mom that akwa na boyfriend so they kwa alikuwa na arrange vile uh, traditionally venya tawana ni nini ni kulipa mari mm. Yes, I was I was excited, you know, cuz hiyo time nilikuwa nisha join shule. Mm. So shule ni watu wanasema babangu, babangu and I like oh god. Sasa mimi babangu I can't even say my dad because my dad is another person, you know. Yeah. So singi me I was not that proud my dad, my dad. Unajua watu like when you're there young, my mom, my dad, my young, my mom, my dad, you know. Yeah. That is the song that they usually sing. Watu mm. next time mtoto asipokuwa na baba anakuja kumwambia mama, wale mwingine alinembea baba yake, babangu kwa niako happy, you know. Yeah. So I was so excited because at least I talked to my babangu pia mimi nasema babangu you know yeah. I really loved uh, my stepdad uh, sorry to a point like he, he was like my everything you get it yeah. to a point mamangu alikuwa ni kivi sapa kwa meza miss wana babangu I'm like I'm waiting for him can you just wait for him because yeah. I want to see a sisi what a vile watu wengine nasema mimi na babangu tunakulanga I want that you know you wanted the fatherly love yeah mm. Uh, 2012 my grand my grand in class 3 mm. my grandfather died mm, sorry yeah so uh to cannot come zika vizuri we came though tulikuwa na to accident nini nini but we came back safe yeah to after to mesha toka house we came back after coming back now <laughs> the year is uh where the journey another journey started you know So I don't know was my stepdad waiting for my grand my grandfather to leave so that he can do whatever he wanted to do because mm. <clears throat> me and my my grandfather we were close. so close like alikuwa na kaiva anasema ni teni purity you know mm. So yeah after some time my my dad changed like literally ikafika mahali at night when sasa saizo my brother and my sister wamezaliwa my step brother and my step sister wamezaliwa mm. mm. So what eh jua jachana na play kwa miachana na kaenda miezi cause brother ngo ni mwezi wa wa sita na sister ngo ni mwezi wa tisa. Mm. Yeah. So after after that my dad ikakuwa inafika usiku then anangoja because my mamangu anyonyeshi wote azinyonyesha wote na huyu mdogo kijana bado anataka maziwa kwa this young. Mm. You get it. Yeah. So like aizinyonyesha wote sasa akakuwa anapatia huyu mdogo so mkubwa huyu mwenye anamfuata like huyu mkubwa huyu anapewa maziwa so juba mamangu alikuwa mchana ni kama ni weekend mimi ndo nitakana watoto kama ni hizo siku zingine mamangu ndo anakana watoto so babangu alikuwa na take over usiku mm. because mchana si tunafaa kwenda shule ni nini ni. so yeye like ange as a man angekana na babangu yeah. so like in that in that process babangu analala mamangu mamangu na kizima mzima unaweza mbaba dum wako kwa injia asubuhi anachanga e eh, rada unajua mm. so yeah ilikuwa na siku siku babangu anajifanya nini 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 then when i sleep he comes and then ananza kunishika matiti and at that time cause me nilianza hormones zangu i think zilipick up haraka cause nilianza kumea matiti when i was so young mm. i think i was class 3 class 4 well kwa ali machuara eh, 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 eh. so nilikuwa na traumatized as a kid cause every single night I have to go through that. So mimi nikapiga hesabu he shashangu kutoka kwetu abadu kashangu simbali. Say can just be going. Unajua? Mm. So nilikuwa nitoka shule na kuja nafanya vitu zangu. Ikifika masaa zangu natoroka. Mm. I just vanish. Mamangu nime nime ni jukila siku lazima ninge for inform cuz I had one uniform. Na anua naenda naenda na na vitabu na nini? Cuz mm. siku kwa ningizanga vitabu kwa nyumba. Mamangu akwa anajua. <coughs> so this time mamangu kanembe since umeza kwa kwa shako Uh, what we will do uta kitu tutafanya uta utakunisa ukienda kwa shako but this weekend kindly usiende kesho nafaa kwenda kibarua and i need you to stay with your siblings mm. tafadhali usiende nikwambia sasa sitaenda mimi nikipiga usiku usiku nikipiga hesabu zangu usiku kitu ina happen eh ile tu nitoroke you know yeah. so i then i then away again nikasema 
wala kesho ndamkaa pema ndo unga kiamka hizi ni kwa naiba bumper to bumper si jam mm. ika hapa ni ka, ni ka over sleep so mamangu akaacha mtoto jirani akasema pili takikuja kindly mm. mwambie a take over yeah. mimi nikakuja nika take over nikadhania things are okay not knowing that when jirani mamangu akuja mimi niplania vita so that time ilikuwa vita like literally to an extent alinipiga kani paso hapa uh-huh. yeah i have uh-huh. a kalama hapa yeah Pia yeah, if you yeah, can see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, lama. So mama ngoka nipiga kan pass hapa. Mm. The moment nilona imekuwa this series and I told her acha tu nikwambie why I usually run away because I'll never tell you ni nini unakosanga kwa hii nyumba unatoroka unaenda kwa shoko to an extent you cannot stay when I even command you to stay. Yeah. So nikamwambia that is the time that I saw my mom I break down, you know. Yeah. It was the first time missing my mom crying like literally alilia. Can remember why didn't you tell me? Mbona ungeni mbona mapema? Mm. I could have solved everything. Ingefika hapa mali mifikia, you know. Yeah. So hizo I'm bleeding. Kichwa na scar inauma cuz mm. yeah the alarm and all. Una uko na scar, yeah. Yeah. So ni uh, mamanga kanchuko si tukaenda ni nini ni and then she had to call the family akambia the family what is going on. Yeah. So a uh, time to mend family family meeting yeah the said ya babangu na said ya mamangu said ya babangu akasema said ya step dad yangu akasema that i don't want my mom to be married to to my step dad okay yeah, tena mwekelea like they know their son they he cannot do something like that blah blah, blah. i was like surely niko class 4 so when i'm toto najua ta nini about marriage what do yeah. i even a relationship what do i even know you know mm. My mama alija makaenda tukaenda kwa chief we reported akachukuliwa kapeleka juu ni twanga cell or something yeah. akakoko for almost a week and some and some few days mm. then akasema ni change I'll not do it again okay mama anga akasema it's okay so my mom didn't want to leave because alikuwa na feel akilive where will she go ako yeah. na already mtoto watoto wawili yeah. to make the matter worse o mwingine ako na autism mm. so like like I, and I feel like he's fanya peke yake everything you get it mm. so to leave the home vitu zikakuwa sawa but me and my dad sasa choki kanzi hapo he used to hate me like macho yake tu ingegonga hizi angenigonga tu like literally dad anyanyesha to hate like i hate you you know yeah because of what i said like i can't expect i can say you and know? you know by the way what i don't understand ukiangalia hizi uh, stories mob tumefanya hapa it's literally relatives like wao wanafanya watoto hivi but every time like a child tries to ku report wanaonanga ni come to a drink to any anasema exactly. so yeah for that i think like we just need to do better yeah for me i thank my mom because like my mom I'm in trust from way back yeah so hiyo nilikuwa class 3 class 4 class 5 he didn't do anything so class 6 he decided to bring it because some wanted to hit sasa vitu ni kumea zinamea you know mm. sasa ya naona because remember i've told you like mimi hormones zangu zili pick up so ah, early mm. so like nilikuwa na machu haraka haraka and then with my big body and all so naona eh hey, akanako kamefika so again he started mm. so before before that mamangu ali conclude cause nilikuwa tena niliendelea kuenda kwa shangwa akaniambia Okay, my parents I can be going to your grandma but make sure weekend you come and see your your, your siblings, you know. Mm-hmm. Cuz she wanted to create that love, that bond, nini nini. Yeah. So it's like it's okay. So officially nikaenda kwa shangu. So hata nisporudi jioni it's okay. Yeah. So kwa shangu na jo tuma auntie wana ni street, wana fully inform na rudi kwenyu. Yeah. It was so tough, like tea for tough, like tough. <sighs> so this weekend we went home kutilinda watoto watoto wetu wadogo uh, my step kids my step uh, siblings mm. nimeenda kuangalia and then my, my step dad anatoka job around saa kumi. anakuja nimepata nimelala kwa kiti remember i'm young that time niko classics i'm not that grown grown mm. so nimelala kwa kiti nimeelia macho ni red juu brother yangu alikuwa analia na sister yangu analia huku yeah. na i'm crying with them because i don't know what they want me wapea uji hadi mimi like You know I was like a young mother baba yangu amenipata nimelala kwa kitchen with my siblings anaanza kunishikashika you know like ile 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 ya mapenzi <laughs> and I'm right now at least I live a great I know what yeah. he was doing yeah. so nishanga eh this is not organic surely you know yeah. and then I started crying you know like kama nishika nime nime nimebaki statue I'm still sleeping nimefungwa too much oh macho zizi zinatoka because I'm like adilini kake endelea my, my sasa my biological brother akaingia akajifanya that alikuwa anashika the, the baby mwenye nilikuwa nilala naye cause nilikuwa nimemshika then tumelala 
So mungu alikuja jioni and immediately nikamwambia, nikamwambia mamu, baba leo alianza kunishika shika hivi na hivi na hivi, kena akaingia akaacha akajifanya na shika Morgan, you get it. Mm -hmm. So mamu like, like alinyamazia hiyo na alinyamazia anga kabisa hakuongea. Alinya hata mimi alinyamaza tu, naweza unaniangalia vile niangalia vile na kanyamaza. Mm -hmm. It was like, wa kwa nini mamu anaona na mimi namdanganya something? It was, it was like it's okay. As long as nika kwa shango, I'm I'm good. Yeah. So you can deliver nika fika class 7 now. Nika, nika puta boyfriend. Hey. Adole, sasa imeshika kushika. Adole, imeshika sasa sasa hizi mamonga hizi nambia anything. Hey, like, hey. yo, who are, you, who are you talking to? <laughs> you, you, don't, you know nothing, you know. <laughs> Now I'm a grown woman. Mm. Mm. Niwapata kwa boyfriend. Mnuasa mm. mnatoshana kabisa. Sasa hizi ni kuchatu tu siku tunasika. Ili kasi ya katululu. Yeah. Unafinya baka di mwenye kukua na sikia. So uh, this guy one day can be you've been my girlfriend for some time. Wait, hata hujatuambia mlimita aje. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this mm. baba yake alikuwa anga beshti ya mamangu they used to talk a lot because mm. babake alikuwa anakunyonga pombe by the way na penye tu kanaishi kulikuwa kuna uzo wa pombe. Mm. So nilikuwa nikutana na baba anasema eh my daughter in law I'm like what? What the hell? My daughter in law. Mm. I didn't know you have a son. Okay. Had a son. Okay. Now he introduced me to skin na pita ko like ebu kuja ndio kijana wangu I'm like oh my goodness mm -hmm. you just says says the bado niko mdogo hata eh hey, nimesema kwa kijana ni kansa man kwa roho yeah. huko juu na jana okay okay mm. so pia kijana kaninoki mm. tukanokiana mm. and that's how we met oh. yeah that's how we met so his name was Kadidi oh my goodness <laughs> that was your first boyfriend my ever. first boyfriend yeah. alikuwa anaitwa Kadidi mm. so Kadidi akaniambia eh Umeku kinji umenjo for long bwana usende usikuje kwa ngombe kuna kwako that time he was like 18 17 na uko how old your time nilikuwa 15 16 mm -hmm. tukaya mm -hmm. kan nikon uko na kwako eh niko na kwako na kama ji ji uko na kwako ukwe mdogo mimi yeah. ngana nidi anasoma mm -hmm. but he had dreadlocks and all kanambia pana mimi somi niko kuna kwangu ni nini ni kwambia ni sawa jioni tutapatana tuende mm -hmm. jioni kafika mimi nimetoka kwetu ilikuwa weekend by then mtoka kwetu kukula Nenda sasa kwa shangu juu siku mamangu alikuwa amenita she didn't just wanted to talk to me then my mom used to talk to me a lot mm. which was ngine naongea anga watu wako like eh unshana but it's 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 because my mom alineka like alinibeba nikiwa adult from 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 yeah. my childhood yeah. she didn't want me to go through whatever she went through you know sasa we we know you have a boyfriend to menda kwake eh fika kwake ngao oh, wow Ilikuwa na single room ya mabati but niko like hey. uh, yeah well, of course uko hey. impressed cuz uko young hey. at that point so, hapa ni kongu ananiambia mm -hmm. yes sasa ni kwako uh -huh. anytime mm -hmm. hata kifungo ndo wii eh una nitaki kifungo officially nikasema oh my goodness <laughs> nikaka hadi saa tano ya usiku <laughs> ndo mimi narudi nyumbani mm -hmm. mguu wangu mguu wako eh kufika tu hivi kwa gate na sikia shosho yangu na kwangu vile ana ni plan yake nikisukuma mwanga amepiga ma calls to make sure nimerudi nimefika home yeah. you ameanza kuona like nimeanza kuwa naanza kujibeba kama mwanamke mkubwa i'm doing so many things in your like okay okay mm -hmm. so akaanza kuni suspect i don't know you usko akapiga na akaja kwanga kupiga simu akapiga simu pili tu amefika hajafika saa nne pili tu amefika na nilitoka kwa nyumba saa moja mm -hmm. pili tu amefika hajafika mm -hmm. eh hey, mimi ndio saa 5 na nusu ndo nimefika nisikia tu wacha tu afike tu hapa ataona nitampiga eh hey, anaongea na mkwangu mkali nikasema eh. mimi mhm uh -huh. munipige eh njia mtu na penye nimetoka eh narudi kiguna njia tena aiga rago uh -huh. mimi huyo nikarudi ingia nini ni eh mimi nafikiri kwa ndaka kuniua mhm ndaka ku eh hata jioni ilikuwa huko mimi niko sirudi Kanibe saa karibu you welcome. Mm -hmm. You you like my wife and I love you. Eh? Nikomba I know you love me. <laughs> Na ready ushapewa key so una draw on the wife. <laughs> I know you love. Imagine even don't leave her. What? Siko hiyo dio. What? Sema like siko hiyo dio mama ngako kwa like akaanza wakaanza sasa kunitafuta. After a week anashanga eh kwa hiyo nilikuwa hivi kwa serious akaanza kunitafuta. Wakaanza kusikia tufununu piorea na kuanga huko. Mm. Chao mama ngo anikujia. Mhm. Mm niliona wao nilitandiko mm. hi mm. mimi huyo mbio nikaenda nika, nika jificha somewhere yeah. then after ameenda i came back so kijana that i thank god yesu kwa kukua mama anga kaza kuambia madiba vile ana shout hizo nitaleta polisi hapa mm. oh chini nini like ana threaten so vinyobo alikuja akaambiwa na majirani wewe mama ude malikuwa hapa mm. na msimata kuletea polisi 
so boy ikabidi akwanishi sasa kwanishi hapo ikabidi like anatafuta kumbe alikuwa mwizi mimi na sijui what yeah Sika bidi mitafuta mali atakuwa na lala. So uh-huh. mimi nalala kwa nyumba pekee yangu tumchana tuko wote. So just a neighbor alikuwa nga demo alikuwa around 15 and she had she was pregnant and the husband walikuwa alikuwa nga drunk. Mm. Akajanga siku moja akan akabisha aka kwangu. Kanimbia mambo nikaambia poa. Kanimbia uwe. Unajua ni mtoto sana. Sasa hizo miss kukwa najua how old she is because like already amanza kumachua she's big mm. like kuna jua like amanza kuchapa because obviously the, the the marriage life is not marrying you know mm. kwa like ananiambia you're so young na nikikwambia sisi miaka ngo utashtuka mm. fanya hivi one thing for me rudi home usitaki kwa kama mimi rudi home mm-hmm. i swear ukikapa wale purity uta regret rudi home eh And for me I don't take advi- adv- advices if I really take them heavily you know na zika ni kwa hati colleague mbona mimi so that time nilikuwa class 7 na mlika na huyo boy for how long oh god yeah nilikuwa months mhm you for like at karibu first time first time yote sikwenda shule yeah <coughs> nikaomba ni sawa nikaomba so tunapasa mimi ndafanya nje nipeleke mm. kana mbo sijalinda kupeleka kanichukua anga kanipeleka huko kwenda huko nikapata step dad wangu akanambia mama kwa yuko rudi akiwa akasema yeah sawa mimi nikaenda tena sasa nikasema this time i'm taking myself home kitu yote itazalika ita, ita nitainyonyesha because i'm the one who me, who messed up okay so yeah. nika, nikaenda home my mom was so happy to see me like mm-hmm. i did not see that coming like my mom was so happy at this kaka nakabai nyama akapika eh lazima yee Hiyo hiyo sure. kazuri ya prodigal daughter amerudi. Ya kweli na kurudi na kazuri. Eh. Akabai nyama like like ali, she was so happy. Yeah. Aku ongelenge anything about the marriage. Ali, ali niliona tu the happiness in her then tukamaliza hiyo story nikarudi shule. Hmm. Kurudi shule akaona eh haka nako kameharibika acha nikapeleke boarding. And then life peer was not lifeing for her and all. Hmm. And by the way that was the time my stepdad stopped, stopped working. Mm. So like everything in Kwang on my mom. Yeah. Saka so, mwa akasikia kuna akasikia kafununu. Kuna shule nyingine na kwangu uko dagoreti. Mm. Na ni free. Mm. Eh mungu sikia ni gani hiyo? Yeah. Ni ya. Hapo tutoto tupeleke nione. Said to me mimi nimeona mama yangu tunaenda kuona. Mm. Na hivyo ndo aliambia wacha cha mtoto huko tutakuangalia mtoto. Mm-hmm. Na hivyo ndo nikaachwa. Mm-hmm. Mbele it was a children's home. Mm. And then entering the school was quiet, you know. Yeah. It was ilikuwa like in a bring your vibe ya 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 ya, ya, ya makul kid eh wacha ni mwenda kwa dom mm. eh mesha nguko ni wapi jamani and by the way since i was young i've been nimekuwa body shamed nimekuwa nimetoa majina you are ugly mm. like nimekuwa ni rejection I've, i've faced the rejection since i was young mm. so like it was not a new thing kwenda kwa shule tena ku face another rejection no one wants to sleep with me with this in this cold lazima to share bed hakuna yeah. mtu anataka kulala na mimi wala nyana langa peke yao peke yao kiambia ndo mgeni anaingia ndo lala na eh hey, mm. hata nuvunjia kitanda you know mm. like mm. god kitanda sasa shwali sasa dalala chini but luckily nikapata mtoto mwenye yako alikuwa class 6 kana mimi ndalala na wewe ilikuwa 5 ndalala na yako kwa like hey, okay And then like magic uko iko kwa free you had to buy water so kama una maji bro nivo tukaende kaende so hizo utaomba mtu kwa bafu naomba so nikaribisha leo mm. anakaribisha mna mnaoga hivyo so nikasoma class 7 class 8 nikamwambia mangu eh mamungu alikuwa amekuja visiting and then your time ilikuwa tu anafunga so leo nyako na parent wa moja moja kwa zilikuwa children so moja moja anaenda home mnyona kabisa na baki wenye you know So mimi my kids come time mama ngo kwa kwa anakuja ku visit complete ni kwa eh kwa ni una mama tena ku nirusha huko ni kama time mingi tu amtia amekuja ati amekuja ku visit ati arudi aende nilimwambia tu wallahi wallahi hizi i swear ukijaribu kuniacha hapa wewe utapenda kanibebanga kanimba saa tu ndio kwenda mimi nikwambia ujue sirudi hiyo shule by the way ni hizo utafuta shule nyingine ama mimi niache shule Yeah. Mungu akijaribu ku imagine like kwa family yetu yote hakuna mtu ameweza form 4 mm. and she wants like to break the record like mtu tamba ameweza form 4. Yeah. Kanemba ni sawa basi nitaka tufanyeaje mm. mtoto wangu. Kamwe it says on after shule nyingine ama unipeleka ata course. Mm. Kasi mtafuta kutafuta shule karibu zote zinakataa course ndio time watu wanataka kuanza exam. Yeah. 
watafa tutuwa meja. Mm. Akasema wa, sana fanya. Sika kabida mintaftia uh, tushon. Sana kanda tushon, then akataftia part time job ya kuza kuku. Mm zile za kuchoma kwa barabara yeah. so like nilikuwa natoka tusho then nakuja naanza kuchoma hizo kuku nikiuza mm. so yeah nikaingia form 1 form 1 again so kumbuka my dad is not working completely hadi akipigwa simu eh kuna kazi anasema mimi ni mgonjwa na mikapa kwa kitu na bet mm. ako tu so mwangu anatoka kazi anamwambia hii pesa ni ya kesho ya breakfast lunch na saa oh yeah nenda na lala baba wangu na yake ambaye anasema anamwambia nililea watoto for example, nyama nenda na nunua skuma. Uh -huh. My mom will say nothing because sasa tafanya haji. Yeah. One day I sat with my mom and was like, tulikuwa mina mama angu. Mm -hmm. Me and my mom, we are so close. Like we even, even like friends. Kamuliza. Eh. Wewe, na baba na nene mewa mgine. Kanengalanga kamuliza kwa nini. And my mom alikuwa na, like nilikuwa nga na freedom of, of, of speech kwetu. Yeah. Meaning ya unge anything mamangu wange nisikiza. Mm. And amikuwa nunu minulisa even kwa mbia. Kwa hii nyumba hindu nalipa rent. Wendu na mbae chakula. Mm. Ukwa na tonye, my sister's name is Tonye. Ukwa na tonye. Alafu sisi watatu. Mm. Tonye mwenye ni kama tuto ingine watatu ujuu. Mm. 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 Baba kuna kituwecha na kusaidia. Ukitoka hapa kwa hii nyumba nuendu kwa maisha kwa kipeki yako na sisi. Kuna kitote tabadilika. Mm. Mamangu wako nijibu waka nangaleta waka nyamaza. Sasuka hini mimi ni nafaa nifue, nyoshe vyombo, ni nde maji, ni panguze nyumba na nyoshe watoto. Ni kambio, babangu tuwa mekaa na betu. And then kwa baitha kwa niba wetu, alikuwa nafanya baitha kazi ya watchman. Alikuwa nasidi wangu watu taki kazi. Mm. Was a man. Like kwa chake kifuwa ya nendea maji. I was like, hey, this is so nice. Nilikuwa natama ningi that. That yu kusaidi ya na kifamilia ni nini. Kamuliza. Yeah. Kamuliza. Kwa na wewe, eh, kwa na tuwezi nisaidia, you know, like mamunga nukwa minechanga na ungea na payuka kupayuka. Mm. Na juwa vizura na nchukia lakini mine nita mungelesha. Mm -hmm. Kwa sasa kwa hapa usahini nisi mungelesha juu na nchukia. Mm. Nga mbuta, sasa hewe nye kwa hivyo, kwa ni tuwezi nisaidia kuchota maji. Eh, eh, <laughs> kume mtu aliomuka na mungu ya left. Mm. Aliomuka ni kelenga ngumi ya matiti. What? Ngumi. Alikunja ngumi tu vizuri. Mm. Ali nekelangu mi matiti. Kwenda kunipigia apili ni kakinge zina sifurea kwa zilikuwa ni mshikaki. Ndi sifurea kabondeka. Kai. Nilitoka mpendi kwa shangu. Siza deto kwa barabara na niyangala na shangaka kana kimbia kukienda hapi. Nike na kwa shangu. Shishonga kajamu. Kapigia mungu mungu waka kujambio. Haku ongea tena. Aliona tu nalia. Kana mbea mka tuende ya si. Hmm. Tukaenda kenyata. Nika fanyizo matibabu nini nini. Tuka rudi yomu. Kana mbea for some time. Kuna kujuu kwa juwe kakatu kwa shu wako. Yeah. Kambia nisao. Not to know ima mangu kume na ye penye yako. Ame plan. One weekend like you are free. Mm. We are like moving. Kume na plan moving out like completely. Yeah. Misi juwe. Mm. Sika ina tumekatu hivu kwa nima na shaka. Kwa nima mwala indi kazi. Jusetu wadi mbangu na mwala. Kwa nima indi kazi. Leo una kibarua. Mm. Na, Since na, the one mwenye aja kwa kifanya kazi. Sasa niko like. Kwa rona mwangalivu niko like. Unajua sezo niko at least niko niko kademu. Mwangalivu. Mm. Like mina babangu tuka na chukia, tunangalia na hivyo di tunasaiziana mm. na tuka nyumba moja, you know, because yeah. I hate, nilikuwa na chukia everything, like, nilikuwa na nikijarubu kukumuka, what he, alikuwa na nifanyanga, I feel bitterness, yeah. yani, I, I feel nikeza pata, nikipiza tu, kwa hivyo chance, mm. like, mina dina babangu tulikuwa na pigana, mm. ikifika malianda haku ni pig eyebrow, we, 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 tu pigana, you know, yeah. So mamangu waka anapigia, tu waka ambia, mifika api, ati mifika malifila, oh, kujeni nyumba ya tatu, Tunaona vijona mingia mkukoteni kwa inje vitu zimebebwa zinaingizu kwa ee. Eh. Mm -hmm. Mga nanempe, tunama. Ee, eh, tunama. I was so happy. Yeah. Like, I was so, is something inye nimekua nikidreamo. Nikuwa nakanga tunye na ngoja. Adi kwa mambiangu, kile siku kwa nambenga. Mungu siku kwenye mamangu, tuatabalisha tu akile, ya tu tuami. I, mm. I, I will feel blessed. Mm. Like, I will be so excited. Mamanga, by the at that time, I'm sure I'll kwa na rentals kibera nyumba za mabati tukama tukaenda tukaishi kwa hizo nyumba tukaanza kuishi kwa hizo nyumba mm. so that time ndo tena nikaolewa mara ya pili mm? <laughs> so sasa sasa hii advice usha sahau sasa ni yes, sahau <laughs> tena hii siku tena ni siku tu nilipigwa nikatoroka kuzunguka hivi nyumba nikakutana na kijana kanaambia usijali mm. ingia hapa uta utaenda asubuhi mmoja kitulia <laughs> acha niingie dalala nje eh. acha ni kuingia na hivyo ndo nikaingia nikaolewa nikaolewa <laughs> yes, yeah, that's my appeal. My appeal. It's embedded you're still a teen. Sasa ndo niko form 1. Mhm. Uh -huh. Nilikuwa 
nilikuwa 17 18 mm. but sasa kokuwa na ID because mm. remember mimi nimesoma pole pole kozi ya ku ah, wazazi yeah, ku, yeah. naenda huko narudi na hivyo mm. eh hey, kuingia kwa nyumbani kwa mzaga hivi remember that time nilikutana mm. na Steven kwa class 7 by the way mm -hmm. so like right now we are friends yeye alikuwa 2018 unajua tu anashanga Steven ni nani Steven oh, <laughs> my, my ex mm. person x mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. ni top person x mm. <laughs> so yonder time tumejuana is just a friend and all Sana kujangu ito anuliza kwa wa. Kwa ni piwari aliendanga. Al, and kwa na nita piwa. Mm. Kwa ni piwari aliendanga, aliendanga hapi. Mm. Anambuwa mm. mamu kwa kwa nambuwa ni maula. Mdua kimuzani wa mwambi ni maula. Anambuwa hata kuja tu. Mm. Hata kuja tu. Amenda kwa na anti yake hata kuja tu hivyo. Na sayo likuwa tu around the same area nye mamako. Around mamangu. the same area. Kwa zata nangoja mamangu na nenda na sorona na mwambuwa. Mamangu kwa huu. Hati mm. ya yuko. Mm. Na inena sneak. Shoo. Nenda kwa na sister. Because for me, my sister is my everything. Yeah. Like, hata nikiwa mbali aje. Mm. I just want to to know how she's doing. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, your time. <laughs> nika kanga. Kwa za kumuka nikinga kwa njima, nika ulizanga. Hey, hipi show dem na mtoto ni nani? Mm. Ukijana kana mba. And sister angu, for now, ayuko. Mm -hmm. Alienda kuona wazazi wake. Oh, ok. Nimbra ya mbo. Mm. Eh, hey, tunika kama. Hey, that, that house at that time nilikuwa ni mingi kwa nyumba hizi. Afu ni nyumba ya mawe na ni kibera. Mm. Tasi wa ye, ye, ye nyumba ni rembo ui. Not knowing nyumba ya nyumba ni rembo hivyo kwa ni umwa na ume. Kwa ni mwana mki. Kwa ni anajua je kupanga vitu kume ni bibi. Um, Iyo picha liliona kukuta ni bibi ya kena mtoto. <laughs> kwa ni mwenye wa nyumba. Mwenye nyumba. Mwena zania the conqueror, the lion is here. <laughs> Mbona sasa kwa konka? Mimi mimi nipanya. Sasa kuna the lion. Eh. Mimi kaka hizi siku nyingine. Kaiso na kwambia ni nikitoka hivi nje. I just feel myself. Kina watoka hivi nje maongea katika hii. Kuja. Ati eh umeka kwa nyumba hii sana. Kwa nini na niko kijana? Mhm. Nikwambia mimi ni bibi yake. Mhm. Twen bibi yake. Mhm. Eh. Wako nukinge kwa nyumba. Mhm. Au kuona, au kuona picha kwa ukuta. Mm -hmm. Kwa mba salinambia ni sister haki. Mm -hmm. Tiwa, uko kwa nyamba ya bibi ya wenye ya wewe. Mm -hmm. Uwe ni kwa nyamba ya wenye ya wewe. Iyi, 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 bibi ya wenye ya wewe. Ya. Yeah. Apo sandu wa kila mtene kafunguka. Pili chinafuru di nyumbani. <laughs> Kasa tuta kupaku vitu zangu. Narudi yo. Sa, yo te imu liko umeka uko tena how long kabla. Sa ufind out konkara hako. Hey, ni mwana kanga for months. Mm. Na jina hatia tu period ingine tu refu. But, <laughs> sa ubo hii. Karibu le... tamzima siendi shule. What? Tamzima. So, ni kitu di shule, ni shaka, hey, kwa ni nyinyi, munasoma jara karaka uku. Yeah. You know. Mm. So, ngaja, ubo hii, mm -hmm. juu nasema mlipatana na ye, uka umetoka kuchapo unatoroka. So, vile ulimuvi na ukutoka. So, mlilani kupendana, ama what happened? No yo boy. Asa, sata, like mimi nili, nilikuwa nilikuwa fold na appearance so na eh na nika cute. Haka anaweza tu kapenda. Yeah. You know. Mm. So for me he was cheating me. I felt like he was cheating me okay. Atuko mm. na any problem. Yeah. And for me every single time nilikuwa nasikia ni chani ni infatuation but that time nilikuwa nasikia ni maupendo. Nasikia tu maupendo. Nikiona mm. tu maupendo. Alafu sasa sasa zona ona matele mundo. Eh atibona kuja kwa nyumbu na muhagu na. <laughs> <laughs> Bas. Na mgoja. <laughs> Jiri kifika nenda na muhagu. Kaza ni metoka kupika chakula, lipika lunch na chemisha na aleta. Mm. Na wana kiwa chuna sama wa the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the love of my life. The love of your life him. and the love of his life. Hey. So ni ka, ni ka, kuchanga ni kamoliza, akanza kwa violent. Mm. Unaliza si chuni ni, hey, anakuwa di mkale dia kataka kunipiga. Numa yi, unakuwa kunipiga mimi. Mm. I've watched my mom being beaten every single day. Bro, you'll not beat me, let me go. Yeah. Ni kaza kupak vitu dhangu ni karudi yo. Nata kuna kitu umesema hapo, mm -hmm. because uh, on Sunday ilikuwa Father's Day, and you mm -hmm. actually uliyeka post ukasema, every Father's Day reminds you of what your mom went through, na it's sad for you. Yeah, every Father's Day. Like, nikiona watu wame post, baba zao, kuna kuna ule na wanapenda na baba zao, nona tu mawitu wame post, na kuleka. Uwe? Yeah. So, uye nge kwa mina babangu. Because me and my dad, my biological dad, we were kind of close, very close. Like, he used to love me, but he didn't, he, aku kwa napenda brother angu. Mm. But for me, he used to love me. So, like, nikuwa napigia nge sabo, this could be, this can be me, ama could be me, could be me and my, my father, you know? Yeah. So, at this time, nika rudi home. Kurudi home, mamangu, tena daka nirudisha. Ntutake, anafraya, nimerudi. Yeah. Then after a period of time, Dominico, so from, from one I met Ambabas mm -hmm. at a certain wedding. 
So nikakutana na mbabas we to exchange uh, kwanza actually simi alipea namba alipea the older one mimi alikuwa mkubwa tu namba mm. so mkubwa tu naye it's like he was she was not interested i mean he was interested in acting so na he is an actor and I was like since this guy is an actor atanisaidia and i had friends so we were three friends mm. so tulikuwa na chacha nanga vile tunapenda acting mimi nini yeah so after from two tena nikaolewa bwana wenyewe tena eh yeah. Sasa huyu mbaba zama another one. Another one. Huyu mbaba zinilimpatia break because when I went back home, remember I was from one. Mm. Nikarudi home so nikaendelea na masomo. In this process, mm. nikakutana na mbaba. Mm-hmm. In that process tukakuwa tukipush or something. <coughs> so from two nikaolewa tena. From two nikimaliza f- at term 3 nikaolewa. Na sasa huyu ulimtoa wapi huyu wa form 2? Huyu wa form 2 amekuwa akinikatia anga so nikaamua kumpea chance. Mm. <laughs> Ni kama kwa mtoto chance kumbe ni bwana wenyewe tena. Sasa huyu hey. bwana. Sasa na huyu bibi yake ni bestie ya mamangu. What? Na like huku unajua at all. Nothing. Like I was innocent. Mimi si kwa najua. Mhm. So this day ni kwa nomse bibi nafua na na textiwa. Ati mambo purity, ati unajua kushuka. Kambi hapana. Ati eki please kuja nishukie mtoto. Mimi ni mimi kwa ni first kuna mambo hapana ni ni kwa ni mkwapa sio kushuka. Kwa nataka nishuke matuta. Mhm kana mbicho ni kuambia na kujua. Mm. Wewe si msichana flani flani shaka na zangu vakado kwa dada za bla bla. Wewe unajua. Ni mimi sina maneno na mtu yule amenijulia. Mm. Kama siku nitafuta maneno nataka nini. Mm. I was like nini mbaya madam. So remember we were chatting kana mbia. Mimi ni bibi ya flani flani and mm. you have been dating f- with him for some time. Acha ni kuambia pesa na kuletea anga hizo mayogurt na kupatia anga mtu wangu analala njaa unaletewa mayogurt jini ni utakuja kuniona. So nikidhania ni jokes akanipigia simu ile chama ananipigia vino kijana kaingia hmm. akakuja penye nilikuwa nikamwambia napigia na na Ali salikuwa ude mali kwa simu yako kachukua simu kaanza kutusiana hmm. nashaka tuache kama hii ni come to say that is not in good terms hmm. i'm the one here yeah yeah vitu na pendo ara ara ni kwa bibi pili hakuna shida kwa api bora mimi napendwa eh <laughs> Oh, then nenda kwa nika kwa noa mangozi zimekaka kaka alikuwa juu ya gorofa zile za mabata kanita old oh, mama nika feel things this one kanamba huyu ndo Alice mm mimi nikaenda nilivurutanishwa hivi na alikuwa na mademu wengine wawili watu walikuwa tatu wakanivurutanisha ndani nikaingia mm. nimetulia tasina mimi sina maneno mm-hmm. na unajua mimi nitafikia mamako mm. wewe mnyona sijui ni mwanangu mm. tuko na mtoto nini akataka kunexplain kila kitu eh kwa roti nasema hii kwa kile tunasema anga kwa kudiva kasima hapa naye ndiko hapa eh mambo mechemka mm. na hii hii na ni kuboil na boil mmm ndo nilikuwa na kazi vichi na juliza maswali mmm kajuliza pia uko na uko na goals mingi sana you want people to know your story you want to be this big girl you know mm. ndo life unajitakia kasima hapa na najangilia na hapa na simu hii mi ah no mm. Because I want to live a big life. I want to 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 help my mom. I want my because my mom my mom's worst enemy is my dad. I want my mom to be and be proud, you know, because my dad left us. Now I want to make my mom proud. Mm. Kijana kaja skinny kwa mbona unajua nini? Mimi ni achuku. Tunaenda na Kibera. Mm. Kidhani ni jokes tena toka. Mimi kama vile tutaona vitu zangu tunaenda. Tukaenda ng'a Kibera. Kufika Kibera tukatafuta mahali pa kukaa kwa zile alikuwa anakaa kwa mbeshte. Sasa hizi kwa mbeshte na mimi. Mm. Tukatafuta ng'a mahali pa kulala. Tuka tukaanza life tena fresh. Sasa pande nikaanza kuna chuka la zake. Nikakuja kugundua eh kumbe mimi sizi kwa submit. Mtu ameka ameka mguu kwa mshikanisha miguu vizuri. Anaenda nilete maji. Na maji iko tu pale. Mimi purity. Mm. Ah narudi. Mamangu hata ange niambie hiyo. Mamangu kena maji mbele yake angechukua kunywe. Mm. Ah narudi. Kama kama hizo vitu zinaendelea huku. Mm. Ah tutarudi nyumbani. Sasa ndio mimi nsama. Sasa went back home. My mom that day shows alikuwa alikuwa 50-50 yako and like atani bring back cuz I'll gonna jump maybe she'll bring me back to nani didn't talk about in kama sure this time round I will never mess up this is my first my my third and my last time messing up mm. never again am I going to Karima sawa so that's how I went back home luckily 2019 na kenda Saudi 2019 Steve got trend he came and was like can you be my girlfriend I was like ah we we yes I can So, uh, yeah. so mlijiona kitambo but you guys actually came to date sasa tu form 2 okay yeah so that's when we, we started uh, so we started dating 
and then 2020 nika create my first tiktok mm. so tukafanya ile challenge wewe nani unanipigia simu kama nani eh hey, kanipe over 5k followers because my yi 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 who is it is okay most of them i want to be like asiat mm. 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 i want to be to be known mm -hmm. mm. Sasa ndo kina ajibu ana gura ni sema nataka kama hawa chana mimi mm. wa live lazima nikuwe kama chana lazima nikuwe na followers wengi kama hao mhm sasa mimi nikuwa nataka 5000 kangu au ndo mimi bwako kwa 50 100 na nini lakini ndafika tu mhm so yeah that's when i started my tiktok uh, journey mm. but uh kibati mbaya i changed my phone mm -hmm. 2020 2021 nika november ndo nikafunga tiktok ingine mm. So to look at the relationship to private because his management was not okay me dating him because we're going to feel like I'm meeting his money then he didn't have money which money mm. he didn't have money but we're going to feel like nikwa kwa life yake because i used to tell him hata na kudanganya na mambo na mambo na tafanya na kufanya ni anaenda na mbepiri amespi wa amesema yeye ni watu wabaya unanifanya ngi vipi so like naonekana mimi ni mbaya yeah so 2022 now is last year So remember nimefungua TikTok 20 nimefungua TikTok November mm. nimefungua Instagram November then nimefungua YouTube December then January I trended mm. after ile interview ama video nyingine tena no video nyingine now alikuwa anaongea like even tunaongea then nichukue simu ni record hivi chini mm. ujui unadhania na maybe na take up bado na 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 sinya sinya hivi simu mm. so like akwa anajua so like tukua na conversation that yeah, yeah. ile ujani ujani baya suruari oh yeah. and then i posted it i didn't know it and i saw so mimi nimeenda shule ni merudi napata eh eh ma screenshot za ni rubi gossip to compassion like everywhere hey, oh so it time yenye una, unaanza ku train bado ko high school niko high school mm -hmm. na ndo sasa natenda kufanya exam because exam ilikuwa january na exam ni mwezi wa 3 mm kachanga -hmm. hii yeah yani yeah. yeah, nimeanza kuwa kama aji mm. this is a dream come true yeah so i picked it thinking that i'm strong eh hey, wacha niende kwa sasa comment section hizo screenshot nilikuwa natumiwa sema msichana kupata na alisa sikapanda mm. nikakuwa mgonjwa nikana nikalazwa for three days mkiongezwa maji comments zilikuwa zinasema aje we ngana nasema mtazamu mtoto akaa alien aya mimi nasema umenona sana kwa zina fuku kufe adi mm. adi how big big people they are they are like sawa taja but this big big people wako verified instagram wako verified wanaongea vibaya like these are people that i thought I can I'm looking up to them so like I'm coming to so instead of them welcoming me they are so being me. let's be they talk about that because mm -hmm. niko sure hata wa leo there are still people when you wanna kuingililia based on your parents and you've said this is something you've had to deal with ever since ever since. Mdogo. ever since how does this make you feel na pia una deal aje na such negative comments because me by the this is what I believe sisi si tulijiumba so i find bashing someone based on their appearance really mediocre how does it make you feel at first i like when i make na feel where i used to cry every day yeah. na post kitu napata comments inafika d 500 hiyo mm. ni comment that's jerry player hata moja those are people abusing me ukipata okay, ukipata positivity it's either 5 out of 9 100 you know yeah, yeah. so 95 yote ni people abusing me according to my face my body mm. Yani vinye tu niko. <clears throat> But again my mama kwa sasa ile nambanga. One thing I want you to to know and I want you to do because you have fame. First of all na kiburi. Mm. Second. Omtu mwenye anakutusi ako kwake. Hata udimi bwana pitia nini that's why anakutusi. And then akanambia a hundred of the people are abusing you a hundred mm. ukiendo angalie profile yake yao you will never find them beautiful more than you are yeah. can my daughter you are beautiful mm. you know hapo mm. ndo tayari wakaanza kunitaki baki ya monize kwa like we he, he, eh so like i used to cry kai nilikuwa ni class ni kwa na majun kwa nalia yeah. then i decided i decided you know what i'm dusting off all this and i'm starting my my life as fresh mm. and you people you gonna get tired of me and that's when i decided officially mm. but then akona oh so comment section i reply mm. wacha tumkute in instagram inbox mm. wakaanza kuni dm what and dm umenona sana na fuku fuku kwanza mama kosipini eh unapata paragraph hivi yeye didn't coach ta kwa like kai mm, but people are bitter mtu ananitusi matusi kubwa kubwa hivi mashangao limfanyia ni adi nasema we nilikuwa nadhania i'm strong that like i can take 
this uh, negativity. Mm. Like I'm not strong. Yeah, so that's how my love journey has been. Pakapa, but don't assess negativity, but it doesn't hit me that much. Mm. But obviously, kuna delays na hit, but not like kama ni kianza. Yeah. Atu, atu, any influencer, I'm a social media, I'm a public figure, ki asai kwambia that I'm used to it. You can never be used to it. Ni kama mgonjwa kwambia, I'm used to the sickness. They are never used to it. Kuzi kuna time ina muhitingi, and I feel the pain is too much. You know, mm, mm. that is the same as cyberbullying. Cyberbullying ina zafanya dukwe crazy. Minu kwa nasikenga, has, nani ya zaidi akisama, I wanted to kill myself. Eh, uta kujua jia watu, mm, webe. Mm. Is it too dogo dogo? Yeah. Now when I, you will never, know, you will never know how the the shoe fits. Baka wingi endani. Nilingi endani kasi mo. Eh yata mi mikana kikia kujua. Hazi ya dulu kwa so wewe wewe. Hey, iradi mi nasikia kujua. You know. Yeah. Wewe ukiwa pata namba. Pretty get used to it. You know. Hals mm. jali. Is it only because of us? By the moment you will. And tie that box. Because my air water mini she, you know. But so some me sometimes no lizanga. Mm-hmm. Why should I get used to someone spewing their bitterness on me? It's not my fault. So so happened to Lianza Kutrenda. Now Nataka ku understand Vilulu Chukwa he fame. Now uka build brand yako because right now you are a brand and that's a fact. Hey, first building a brand is a hell hard work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never knew. To an extent of being verified in in belly a person X of yeah. being of doing something that person person X ajay fanya sometimes I'm just like I'm just like in the word dear God because mm. you know person X never never acquire appreciate he never saw my hard work people what you telling you they never saw my my hard my hard work maybe legal atoroka shilenda oi Person X, I can attest on a management. I can attack cause of Judah about management as is just if I can say DM, you know, mm-hmm. through me speaking out. People wanted wanted him to get out of that management, but mm-hmm. no one was bold enough to go and face the camera and tell people that he needs help. But I did, you know, mm-hmm. he's in his 30s, I mean, in, in my early 20s. Yeah. But I was courageous enough to help someone who is way older than me. Mm-hmm. But again, he never saw that. Akwayona yo. Yo, nini angu, ha, like I can't say me, I can't say me I really, I really did. For me, nikifanya, yeah. for me, nikifanya, I didn't know I would blow up the way I am right now. I was doing it, yeah. Washa nifanya, mm. at least because I'm dating him for now. Akitoka, tutashukuru God. That was yeah. my aim. Mm. I never had, sikuwa na aim ingine. That was my first priority, my first aim. You know, that, that God akani amua, pretty, you know what? You will get the fame too. I'm blessing you, I bless you, I bless you. Mm. So first, I was a brand seriously. Mm. Second, I, I remember me kwambe like my mom. I me kwaki ni pusha na nimeba fanya we. I will help you, my daughter. Mm. You will build a brand. Uta julikana. Uta uta pata kitu atoluko nataka. And since person next, I just want appreciate. People will appreciate you. Mm. You know. Mm. So I decided. Let me let me go. Ocha ni then a wave. Make a trend. Na chukule. If anyone talks positive and uh, negativity, maybe a kind of video, mm. I reply it laughing doing another thing you know now i started embracing everything and that's how i don't know i i just matter to god two yeah. questions mm-hmm. is fame what you thought it was mm-hmm. like niki to expect number two let's address how people love equating fame to money immediately you may trend or may make headlines now mm-hmm. people assume you gonna do okay when we come back i did not expect me to to be famous but I knew since way back mm. that I'll be famous. But I knew I'll be famous through acting. Yeah. To be honest, because mm. I loved acting, I knew I'll be famous through acting. Mm. The second thing about uh, fame and money, you know, the uh, Kenyans, I'm a, anybody from any country, they tend to uki okay, trend. You have money, and they expect. I'm okay, post, for example, ni chukue picture ni kiwa in this building. Mm-hmm. After I just take taking a good picture. I post it. Yeah. Obviously, the likes is you people, you give me the likes. I did not maybe get the likes myself. Yeah. And I said, you are faking it. How am I faking it by just taking a picture? For me, I don't post my diary, my nyumba, mm-hmm. my first car, my love, my father, my baby. I've never. You know, I do my own thing. I even do uh, content. Mm-hmm. They see everything that yeah. I own, everything yeah. that yeah. I have, the small, small things. But still, on end of the I'm pretty faking. What are we faking? Na nataka hapo tu hapo kwa faking because mm-hmm. a lot of people na they are faking makiki wana fake 
life on social media and youths wanna take your life literally and they have a lot of pressure from social media what would you want to advise someone when you feel e pressure hadi ana feel anataka kujua because you know some wana yeah. hadi depression what yeah. would you like to advise them first adminish kwa hapo niko like eh yana amenunua gari kumbe ukinga kwa ground u dig in ilikuwa maybe anafanya advertisement or something mm. so what i'll just like to tell you you do you social media kwa hapo itakuja nitaenda again vile umesema uh, about fame and money Femina patia platform you can start your own business mm. and then it boom because people know you they will obviously support you yeah. femina patia platform ina patia connection na patia mm. network and all like pati pesa ndo umekosa ati eh ni post yako ile ngo eh eh zone ma pesa zone ma pesa ati pretty shika pesa nenda ku post the yeah. it doesn't work that way you mm-hmm. know for me even to come to this interview i use my own money hakuna pesa yote na patiwa yeah. i'm just using an example mm-hmm. so like Can you feed my dear con ayo nitakuja ku distract you want to distract yourself because you're seeing like mtu mwingine ana propose you two times mtu mwingine ana buy you nyumba mimi bado kwa ground hiyo nyumba amepoa advertise kama kwa nyumba ta labda ni rafiki yake alimwambia simpe tumfanyika video hapa magari mimi hata nikuja nikwambia gala akifunza ndio gari yako tu nijifanye tu ni yangu juu ni mpya na unipatie you know so what I love you what I would want to tell you you just do you Mm. work hard work smart do your own things social media enda like hizo picha zao ma comment yani do you stop achana achana ni mentality alipoa gari pia mimi gari come on, don't pressure your boyfriends don't pressure your girlfriends because you don't know that beautiful figure mm. nini nini hata unatumia pesa kwenda kutengeneza hizo figure unataka nipige gym ni kwe mwezi mmoja ni kwe na kaa eh jamani leave me alone do you regret mm-hmm. ever getting into those three marriages No I don't. Mm. I don't regret because there are so many things about marriage like like so many things about marriage you know. Sasa hizo ni kwa hivyo kwambia anafanyaje hivi kwa kwambia hivi na hivi na hivi. You know you need red flag in unafufanya hivi unafufanya hivi I know at least at least right now hata nikiolewa I will settle because nimekula maisha you know hata nikiolewa huko nje I'm okay because me already nimefanya na feeling like nimefanya vitu mingi tu next time i just need to settle right now like to to ni jam pretty come down do your thing acha na hizo vitu vingine you know but mm-hmm. from my age utapata madem wengine they do wanataka waende sj club so fanye nini mm-hmm. for me i'm never there yeah. whatever i have i will use it mm-hmm. i have 50 bob okay let me go to the rice kuma stack it in at in the kutafuta na baba because i already i already had one baba nikiwa from one mm-hmm. right now i want to build myself right now i need to focus with my life so sasa hakuna mapenzi ni focus tu Yeah, I just want to. Mapenzi kikuja I will take it. Yeah. For me I'm a, yeah, my love a girl man. Mm. Mapenzi na mimi shoko nga hivi. So if love comes I'll grab it. Yeah. Ndawa. Yeah. Lakini one mm. thing, mm. one thing that I mimi my love life I will never put it on social media. Mm. Social media is a good and bad tool. It has a break ama it make and exactly. that's true. Yeah. Yeah, so biggest lesson we learned so far also to Lifika we go to from to did you manage to clear high school? Yes, I did last year. Mm. I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only mm. myself from for last year. Mm. Oh, wow. Mzwa mzwa tatu. I did. That's how when is a lab high school? Ulikuwa naenda aje high school na wewe ni famous. Naenda tu hivyo kwa sababu nakutana na fans nimevaa uniform na sana na kwanga na irugu kwa sababu. Sasa baba ilikuwa mimi kafupi na bandi kwa nanga bag give mbele. Na bag give mbele eh. But I managed. Yeah. Nilikuwa nenda shule mapema natoka late na mm. nisonekana nionekane. So lazima ungeje feature feature. Yeah, nilikuwa nenda shule. Yeah, but kudos to you Thank for you. chasing that. <coughs> na pia what's the biggest lesson you've learned so far? <sighs> the biggest lesson do you be you. Mm. That is the biggest lesson cuz <clears throat> for me, me stuck in pressure man. I don't want pressure. Na yote time nilikuwa na pressure. I want I want to have this. I want to do this as much as right now I want I want it. I'll nitenda pole pole. You get it. Yeah. I don't I don't intend to fake on social media. I have this car, I have this house, I have this one. Like guys, see. And it's not it's not mine because after all, nikitaka kutokwenda mali obviously fans wataniona na tutakuwa like ile nyuli tuanisha mbona ile garu tuanisha mbona ndo upana ngi. Yeah. Yeah. Be you do you. No joke kwa interview yote there's one constant person who should you mention my mom my mom my mom my, my mom. mom. So your camera and then yeah. you tell your mom something. I tell her okay. I'm so crazy. Maybe my mom is like that five years right now. Mm. 36. So mom, I know maybe you'll see this interview. 
just know that you raised a very strong woman and I'm learning it from you. As much as I don't want to be like you, I want to be, uh, I don't want to be perfect, but I want to, to reach where you didn't reach, you know. Yeah. I want to make you proud mm. and I will make you proud. My mom will be and just know that you're my best friend, you're my mom, like you're my everything, and I love you so much, and I adore you. Mm. Yeah. I'm a little bit of 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 a little uh, Team Pretty, thank you so much for supporting me. I really do appreciate. Thank you for choosing me because me ni Kenya Jiwenyo. Manajwa yal tuwe toana, you know. I'm really, really grateful for every every nini tume, tume make na nini and <laughs> Jiwenyo that I'll make you proud and we gonna do this together. Yeah. And then advice to young girls. Usiobepe kupita your adolescence. Peter, fanya all the crazy thing and learn and be careful. Because you will sit down and say, I want to to do my life, like, to start my life over. Yeah. You can start from anywhere mm. and you can make it still. You can still make it. As long as it, it's here, mentality, thoughts. Okay? So, yeah. And then on the other Instagram at Pretty Vichy, TikTok Pretty Vichy, YouTube Pretty Vichy Official. Yeah. Which I mean, me just looking at you, by the way, you're DDG. You know what that means? Drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, me put some here. Try like you go, I'm going in here. So, me, Pia Nishai, live Kibera at some point in my life, nilikuwa ayani. And I know how life ha, iko hard uko nchua. Yeah, ayani nikuwa mabombe wewe. <laughs> ayani nikuwa mabombe wewe, sijaribu kusewa hapo. <laughs> Wewe umeishi, umeishi andolo. Watu ubi andolo, na? No, but I'm saying, yani, for you to just yeah. not let mm -hmm. your life, yani, previous life, past life, you could hold back, mm -hmm. and you wanting to achieve big things, you go for it. Trash kila mtu mwenye nasimama hapo mbele hako, nataka kwa 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 Va. Una kwa vigine, una vaa ragged ya kinyas. Eh, so, just continue being you, mm -hmm. doing you, and I wish you all the best. Future plans? Na jie kianga. Na jie kianga. So, tunga jetu wapo kwa mtu. Kwa zotu kwenye ni waro, 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 ni Pesa gari ni likula njugu. Yeah. So, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you've learned something from it, this episode. For me, I think ni melan be you, do you. Na trolls, online trolls, tafadhalini. Can we just stop? putting people down, especially based on their appearance. Hakuna mtu mwenye alijiumba, God ni alijiumba. Na kama unataka kutoa mtu makosa, enda utoe mungu makosa. It's not good. So tuwache yota bia ya kuenda kwa comment section za watu and trying to put them down. Wea mwenye uko, 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 uko nje and you feel like people are trying to put you down. Be you, do you, na ukue very fearless about it. I want to know your remarks pale chini kwa comment section what you thought about this episode. Na ukitaka kukua the next person seated here next to me, you can go to my email gala.njeri at lnn.digital na nita soma message yako and you might be the next person sitting here. So until next time, bye bye.